now you highlight the chief executive, but I mean, obviously, what we saw in the boom was that you know some chief executives got so carried away with deal making, and they became so sort of self-important that uh, the deal was everything. Risk management had been put to the side. There wasn't being proper due diligence done, and more than that, the other board members had become sort of you know almost too uh, nervous to actually um, oppose the chief executive. So how do we stop? that being repeated again in the future? Part of it has to be the chief risk officer themselves. As mentioned before, when we were talking about their role, it, it has become a strategic role on the board or advisor to the board. And we had a really interesting uh, chief risk officer's view of their own role. And they said it was their role to be the court jester. And then they were asked to, to put this in perspective. What does that mean? If we go back to the definition of a court jester, it's not somebody that is uh, stupid or an idiot. It's actually somebody who's very intelligent, but in those days asked the foolish question or the dumb question, as we like to say now. And it is the role of the chief risk officer to ask the question like, well, how is this going to make us more profitable? How is this going to improve our relationships with customers? And those are the kind of questions that the chief risk officer in partnership with their, uh, the chief executive, have got to ask. So they've got to be the people that ask the difficult questions. So chief risk officers, we're seeing, need to step up to the mark, but they can only do so if they have the evidence, as we're talking about, the data and the analytics to support that. Okay. Uh, well, it certainly would be interesting to see the, the risk officers acting as the court jester. I don't know if they have to dress as the court <laughs> jester as well, but perhaps not. Um, but that was obviously a very interesting takeaway that you got from, from, from the executive thought leadership that we've been doing. Um, are there other things that came sort of really kind of almost left field like that that was, that was sort of surprising and you said, well, I haven't thought of that before? Well, it was interesting. There was uh, a big discussion clearly about volatility. And we've talked already about data and the, the key issues that, that there are strategic issues there. We've talked about the enterprise nature, scalability as well as capability to bring together the different risk types. But volatility was one of the major concerns. And the changing nature of markets and the changing nature of people's positions in the markets. So we talked quite a lot about how to overcome this. And some of the discussions I was quite surprised about because they were still talking about assessing positions in terms of weeks and days. One of the things that SAS has been doing in its innovation is to bring to the market high performance computing. This allows banks and also other financial services organizations to assess their position literally in a matter of minutes. So scenarios, stress testing can actually be done with a boardroom session in a matter of a day and 10, 15 different positions can be put in place. So that concern is something clearly we need to make sure is out there and, and being addressed in terms of high performance capabilities. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? I mean, when you think about you know the speed at high frequency trading moves at, that you don't have the same sort of um, comparability with, with risk management in the boardroom, but hopefully we're going to see some improvements in that. Now, we're going to carry on these um, sessions and discussions in 2012. What do you think will be the, the, the leading topics of discussion uh, at the first ones that we're doing? I think we're doing one in Sao Paulo and then later in Toronto. That's right. We're in Toronto actually on the 1st of March of next year and we follow up with Sao Paulo on the 6th of March. And it's just been a great team effort. This will be our 11th, when we finish, the 11th city. And in fact, we're going to summarize the, uh, the findings of this in, in a white paper that's being written currently. Um, so we're going to bring it all back together again. We started off in 2007 talking about joining up enterprise risk and, and again it wasn't always agreed and we've moved through crisis, we've talked about regulation, we've talked about confidence and this year we were talking about um, as the crisis continues. I think next year is going to be very much continuing the executive theme, we're talking about accountability this year of the boardroom and Really what we need to, to take into consideration are some of the other aspects. Maybe bring on board, we talked about high performance computing, but maybe the, the role of one of the C-suite that we haven't talked about, and that's the CIO, the Chief Information Officer. The Chief Risk Officer is responsible for risk systems and input to risk systems, but risk mm. systems, processes, regulatory compliance, all of those are touched by technology. So that may be one of the areas. And of course, one of the other key areas that we haven't talked a lot about 
is the area of fraud and financial crimes. That is having a big impact and, and that's something that, again, SAS have been working with some of the major banks like HSBC to tackle very successfully. Interesting, you mentioned the, the white paper there. Um, how, how will people, people be able to get hold of that white paper? Because I'm sure they'll be interested in reading it. Well, it's been a terrific partnership together with Financial Times Business, The Banker Magazine and SAS. And we've released a number of different white papers. And as with those white papers, it, you'll be able to find it on the SAS website, so www.sas.com, on the Risk Knowledge Exchange. And of course, it will be syndicated via the Banker Magazine website. So you'll be able to find it on all good content stores. OK, thank you very much. I've been talking with uh, Alistair Sim, Senior Director for the business analytic firm uh, SAS. Uh, my name is Brian Kaplan. I'm editor of The Banker Magazine, part of uh, Financial Times Business. And we'll be looking forward to holding discussions uh, at our Executive Thought Leadership Series in 2012.